So we are doing solving multi-step equations and inequalities. So what we're trying to do is solve for our x or isolate our variable. And so one example of that is on our classwork. Number one says 5x plus 5 minus 3x is less than or equal to 25. So this is the equation from the previous slide. 5x plus 5 minus 3x is less than or equal to 25. So what we want to do is we want to combine like terms. And then we want to isolate our variable. So I'm looking at this equation. We have on the left side of the equation 5x plus 5 minus 3x. Now looking at that, there are two terms that we can combine and it's our 5x and our minus 3x, okay? So looking at this, we have 5x minus 3x. 5x minus 3x will give us a 2x, and then we need to just bring down our 5, so plus 5, and bring down the rest, less than or equal to 25. Now this more looks like our two-step equation now. And so when we we're solving for our two-step equation, we get to try to get our variable by itself. And so what we want to try to move is this 5 here. So we want to move the 5 to the other side, combine it with the other like term. So in order to do that, I have to do the opposite. So this is currently adding 5. So we need to subtract 5. So subtract 5 from here, subtract 5 from the 25, whatever you do on one side of the equation or inequality, you have to do to the other side. It's all about balance. We have to balance the equation. So in looking at this, now that we've subtracted 5 from both sides, 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay, so that's a whole reason why we did that. And now we're left with... 2x is less than or equal to 25 minus 5 is 20. Now that that's done, we the x is still not by itself, so we'll have to divide by 2 to both sides. Okay, So 2 divided by 2, that goes away, it cancels out, it's just 1. And so we're left with x is less than or equal to 20 over 2, okay, which is 10. So that's our final answer for number 1 on the classwork. So here is our second equation on the classwork. It's 5x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 25. Now, it looks very similar to number 1. The only difference is that our inequality sign is in a different spot. Okay, so it's between um, our 5 and our negative 3x. So we're still going to solve it the same. We have to combine our like terms. So we have to combine our x, um, our terms with the x's. And then we have to combine our terms without the x's. So Looking at the left side, there is nothing that I can combine there. Okay, I cannot combine the 5x and the 5. Um, if I look on the right side, I cannot combine the negative 3x and the 25. So what we're going to have to do is move them to the other side of the inequality. So it doesn't matter which one we choose. We can either choose to do our x values, or we can just do the numbers that are by themselves. Either way is OK. Um, so what I want to move is we'll go ahead and move our 5 for this time. So in order to move this, we have to do the opposite, meaning this is plus 5. So we need to do the opposite of adding, which is subtracting. So subtract 5 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 5 from here and subtract 5 on this other side 
and I'll do it to this one because it's the same one. It has no variable on it. So this is minus 5 with the 25. So on the left side, we have 5 minus 5 is 0. So that goes away. So I'm going to start to rewrite the equation. And so now I have 5x is less than or equal to negative 3x and 25 minus 5 is positive 20. Okay. And so we're not quite done yet. Now, if I look over here, I only have one term on the left side. But if I look on the right side, there's something I can move. So the one that I probably want to move is the minus 3x. Okay. Because if I move the minus 3x, it'll combine with the 5x, which is what I want. So in order to move it, I have to do the opposite operation. So instead of a minus 3x, I have to do a plus 3x. So it is plus 3x. And I'm going to add it plus 3x on the left side too. Okay. So minus 3x plus 3x, that goes away. That's just 0. So that was our whole point in doing that. And now we have 5x plus 3x is 8x is less than or equal to 20. Okay. Now we're not quite done yet. Our x is still not by itself. So now we need to divide by our 8. So divide by 8, both sides. And... 8 over 8 is just 1. So then we have x is less than or equal to 20 over 8. Now we can simplify it. Okay, so what number goes into 20 and 8? Um, yes, a 4. Okay, a 4 goes into 20 and 8. So we're just going to divide 4 into the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator. And when we do that, we get our final answer of 5 over 2. That is how you start the multi-step equation, solving multi-step equations and inequality.